Let's see. Yo, what's up? It's the uh, Insane Games right here. Um, kind of not really a video relating to anime, just talking about, just rambling in my mind right now. Uh, and the subject I want to talk about on this particular video should be... I've been seeing a lot of videos about dating relationships, and I realize I haven't done like one of those type of videos in a while. I think the last, my most popular one of my game man channels is the guy I hate women, and I'm talking about feminists. I want to talk about why so many women are single. <laughs> um, and I gotta, I want to just make this known for anyone who does not watch anime and shit, and just a girl who randomly goes upon this channel. It's a two-way street. I understand guys have their problems too, but as a guy, just talking about the females' problems. And if any girl wants to respond to this, what their thoughts are, I don't give a fuck. Any guy wants to respond, I don't give a fuck. Um, this is just my issues. Um, why women are single? I think it's because of a lot of things. I think it goes into a lot of shit. It's not just, you know, how women act. It's, well, you no, know, pretty much, it's it's pretty much that idea, but it's a whole bunch of different subsections. Like, how fucking women dress. That one kills it in itself. A lot of you fuckers, I, literally some guys will not talk to a chick just because of how they dress. Because it tells so much about their personality. Like, you bitches who wear booty shorts. That shit is not, you've already lost like so many points within yourself just because. If you're a bitch who wears booty shorts, I can already tell how that's going to roll. In public, I should never see a chick in public wearing booty shorts. I can see if you're in your house, boxers, it's the same, it's the equivalent to boxers. You walk around and ask out jeans or ask out pants or whatever the fuck, that, anything that goes above your fucking thighs. That, like, literally, I think, like, if you're going to wear short jeans, I can see up to, like, your kneecaps. But if it's going, like, all the way around your thighs and shit, I'm like, what the fuck? And then you got the ones that go all the way up to pretty much your nether regions or, I mean, your vagina and shit. Like, what, what are you, what, what are you, like, I don't think you women think sometimes. And then you expect men to take you seriously. Like, you've already told us you're fucking retarded. Like... That's why you, the only guys that fuck with these women are the guys who know they don't give a fuck. They like they go into a relationship not giving a fuck because they already can tell just by the way the chick j dresses. There's no honor or respect in that bitch at all. At least not any self-respect. Um, it's just not it's not attractive. Well, at least not me. Um, a lot of, I know a lot of you troll or people, women in general, are like, oh, you're fat. You don't know. You don't, Ryan had a girlfriend. I like. The overweightness, because it works. It, to me, it's a filter. Superficial bitches are the other type of women I can't stand. The ones that judge you based on your looks. I know that's kind of contradictory, actually. Um, but I'm not really talking about the way you dress. Well, at least not in the level where you dress like a whore. Nah, see, it's, it's still hypocritical. I guess the way I can put it is, the ones that judge, judge you based on how you act, no, it's about the same thing. I guess there's a certain type of superficial that's annoying in this and type of type that's necessary. Because you got a stereotype to get some type of knowledge on the person. You take by the way they act and dress to see what kind of person they are. So you need a base. But I don't like the ones who base whether they're going to fuck with the guy or not. Or fuck with the girl or not. Purely based on these things. Let's put it that way, because, I mean, you got to stereotype to some level to get to even want to know if you're going to want to get over there and talk to that chick. I mean, yeah, there are chicks who are possibly wearing booty shorts. There are fucking lawyers and shit, but, I mean, we're going logically here. That shit doesn't happen. Most girls, I, mindset, wouldn't wear booty shorts anyway. That's how my goes. There is no mindset that goes into a person who's fat. I'm just like, what mindset you have? What, I'm lazy? I mean, I mean, the problem with being lazy is that shit kind of spreads out full range. I mean, fuck. I could be just, I could be literally so rich I have nothing to do. I have no need to work. That's why I'm lazy. I could also be one of those motherfuckers who live with his mom and lives in his mom's basement and shit and doesn't have a job and is just living off my parents until, you know, something comes by and shit. That's the problem, like, you can't, like, I can see making general assumptions. I can't make saying full-blown, like, fucking plan out things. But I like the fat, because, I mean, I plan to lose weight. 
But since I'm already fat right now, I do like it as a filter because it filters out the bullshit. Chicks who think you're fat and don't want to fuck with you are the type of chicks I don't mind losing because that means I ain't got to deal with that shit. Now, a lot of you women, because a lot of you women are overly voluptuous or just have some, some, like the thing, guys aren't picky. That's the other thing. Like, girls are so fucking picky, it's ridiculous. Um, now, I understand guys are picky too. That's not, I'm not saying guys aren't. I'm just saying it's more so on women. It's like, oh my God, what kind of car does he drive? What job does he have? What does he do as an extracurricular activity? What is his hobbies? And all this other dumb shit. Just back is itching. Fuck. Uh, just a whole bunch of things. Whereas, like, I mean, certain things, I mean, I, you gotta, people got to understand relationships. It's not like... You're gonna agree on everything with the guys. Like, oh shit, he he, he works at a bus station. Fuck this dude. The dude could be the nicest guy in the fucking world. The dude could have his shit set up to the point where he's only doing the bus driving thing for like a month. Oh, his bus driver fuck that bitch. I'm like, really? Come on. The outfit thing is really what kills it. But to be honest, which is one of the most annoying things that women do. I I, I just don't get it's the makeup thing. I, I talked to a couple of my female friends this. I do not like that makeup shit. And I think a lot of reasons why women are not getting dates, that makeup shit is a turn off to some guys. Like most of the guys, most of the guys that are still available are not the ones, are the ones who are respectable. We don't have high standards, but we just have a, we, we read in between the lines more than motherfuckers who just hang around at a fucking gas station until some shit happens. That's the thing, like, those are the motherfuckers that always got some type of bitch with them. The fuckers that don't are usually the fuckers who are like lawyers and shit. Just because we don't like... We have more of a... Alright, let's put it this way. Thug motherfuckers, or just f motherfuckers, just unfucking intelligent motherfuckers, kind of just get chicks, view chicks as being fine or not fine, and they just kind of roll that way. Educated motherfuckers, we have the issue where we either want too much or most chicks don't follow that kind of rule. Like to me, makeup is unattractive. Why? It's because it, to me, I don't see the point in it. Most of you ladies are fine as fuck without this makeup. I can see putting on makeup on a level, like bullshit makeup. I don't want to see you putting on like I fucking shadow in this ladybug in my room. It's starting to piss me off. Um, <laughs> I want to see these bitches putting on like the fucking eyeshadow, the little lip gloss, the fucking glitter and shit. Got the hair straightened out like a, like a fucking clown. And not the earrings and shit. Like just stupid shit. Just a whole bunch of dumb shit because you were insecure about the way you look. Like that's what makeup really feels like to me at the time. It's an insecurity cover. Which is literally how the makeup industry is based upon. Hiding, an in hiding some type of beauty that you do not like. Something hiding in a flaw within yourself. It's like trying to perfect yourself. Or put yourself in your own flawed view of perfection. Just, the fuck? It's, you look nice without it. Which is another reason you girls are kind of sensitive with that shit. Like, you'd be like, you're fine as hell without the makeup. And you still feel like you need to wear the makeup. And it's just like, you get in the arguments because you have low self-esteem. And then, you, and then you don't want to admit it, so you just project it onto whoever the fuck you're dealing with. And then they, and most of those people can't take that shit. And then it's like, why are the only motherfuckers who want to fuck with you? They stuck motherfuckers. Well, it's usually the fuckers who want to fuck with you or the based on how you look or act. And you speak with a lot of slang and slur and shit. I don't mind slight slang slur, I, I don't, but this just, just full on blowing out slang like your ass never went to school or never read a book in your life. A, a normal book, not the fucking erotica that's like Zane and shit. I mean like a book. A normal fucking book. Or watch normal television and not whatever's on BET. Like that's the shit. That's not, that doesn't fly with everybody. Neither is wearing the ass out shorts. Or wearing no underwear and shit. Or wearing these Clothes are obviously for someone who would be has a different body type than what you have. Like bitches who have like these fucking 
slightly chubby measurements wear like the tightest fucking shirts meant for anorexic looking women and shit like it's not attractive you look like a dumbass just because guys we kind of like smart guys don't fuck with that shit smart guys want a chick you know who they wouldn't be embarrassed to be with and most of you ladies don't really care anymore. It's like retarded. It's, oh my lord. And then, it's, it's the speech, the clothing, the makeup. It depends on the guy's taste. Some guys, and then you got some of these guys that are all slanging shit. How these slanging guys, motherfuckers, the dumb ones, are the ones who just got dealt a bad hand when they were younger and they were like, fuck it. Because a lot of you women just want them, a lot of you women want these fucking bad boys and shit. Because you're young and immature, even though you motherfucking, you women are supposed to be more mature than guys are. At least that's what they keep saying in the books and TV and shit. Oh, girls. Girls mature faster than guys. You talking about physically or mentally? Maybe physically, because they're fucking 10 year olds who look like fucking Pamela Anderson. That shit's ridiculous. But you fucking supposed mature women want a guy who treats you like shit because, listen, if, you, if you're a freak and you like to be one of those chicks, there isn't a dominatrix, but you want the, what you, you want. You want to be on the receiving end of that dominatrix. It's fine, but to want it to the point where you're willing to just deal with bad fuckers for like extended periods of time, that doesn't make me respect you either. Oh, I used to deal with these uh these guys who used to treat me wrong and shit, and these guys you like had a baby with me and left me out I'm like. Yeah, you single mothers aren't the most respected fuckers in the world either. Uh, especially if you're young. Older ones, uh, I'm more likely to be like, okay, that makes sense. But you're 16 and you already have a daughter. You do not come off as a smart motherfucker. And I know that's really cynical and really fucking superficial and shit, which is a contradiction to what I was saying earlier. But come on. Come on. You gotta be, listen, stereotyping is something you're gonna need on some level to be able to get through this world. Overdoing it is the issue. It's, it, the, having it itself is a bad thing. And once again, I know guys have their issues. I'm just talking out of my, out the top of my head right now and these fucking plastic temporary retainers make me sound like a dumbass. Well, at least in speech pattern. Like, um, I just like, women, don't take this offensively. I understand guys have the problems. Maybe, maybe you, one of you chicks can put up a freaking video response telling me the guys you have the issues you have with guys in the sense of why guys are still single and shit. I mean, I'm just saying. Like, I don't fucking. I don't mind starting this discussion because I do a lot of anime reviews on this channel and shit. And you know what? For a second channel and it to be just anime reviews and, deep, and fucking manga chapter reviews is fucking stupid. How much time do I love? Oh shit, 13 minutes. Um, just. So I like to switch it up. Just switch it up. This is an open discussion. Do you like, do you agree with the reasons I gave for why I think women are still single? Which kind of went to, honestly, that kind of, honestly, this entire rant went into more of a, like a tangent on the girls I can't like, I don't like. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, anyways, uh, just open discussion. Responses are welcome. I actually like video responses. I like watching videos and I like when I see other people voicing their opinions so I know who. So I, I don't know, it kind of gives you a, a sense of satisfaction that you ain't dealing with. There aren't, there aren't a whole bunch of morons. I mean, obviously, not everyone's going to agree with what I say exactly, but at the same time, at least I'm not talking to these motherfuckers who are like, yo, dog, well, so you, so you ain't fuck no bitches. So that means, well, you saying it's stupid and I don't fucking agree with you because. I like bitches, and I know you gay, and I know you don't like bitches, like, I see them up in those motherfuckers on a daily basis. I still might get those motherfuckers, and that gives me a chance to do a commentary. <laughs> uh, anyways, last the game, play to win, uh, and I will talk to you guys later, and responses, comments, give me some, raw. Let's get this shit rolling. Peace.